Hey, welcome back to the 30 Days of Healing series. This is a series where I give you bite-sized pieces that you can implement into your life to heal trauma no matter which stage of healing that you're in. If you want to know which stage of healing that you're in, go down to the description below um, to take the quiz. The quiz has results plus resources on how you can move in to the next stage of your healing. I'm Angela. I'm a trauma healer. I have been healing my own trauma for about 10 years and I've been helping other women heal their trauma for about four years. And we are on day 26 of the 30 day series. I cannot believe that it's 26 days already. But this topic is actually something that I have done a masterclass for. So I will leave the link for the masterclass so that you can grab it. But this is a topic that actually comes up a lot with my clients. And it's something that I used to struggle with a lot. And sometimes I still do. I'm not going to act like I don't. And it is following and trusting your intuition. Okay. The reason why it's so hard for you to follow or hear or trust your intuition has a lot to do with whether or not you are connected to your body. The more connected you are to your body, the easier it is for you to connect, hear, and follow your intuition. If you are completely disconnected from your body, it is going to be so challenging for you to hear your intuition, let alone trust it. So your goal here is to be connected to your body. Your body is constantly talking to you. It's constantly giving you signals. That's why you deal with anxiety. That's why you have overthinking. Um, that's why you have hip pain. That's why you get headaches. Um, that's why your neck hurts. That's why your shoulders are tense, right? A lot of that has to do with unhealed trauma or emotions that have not necessarily cycled through their cycle that they're supposed to go through. And then they get stuck and stabbed in your body. The thing is, is that if you're not listening to your body, you're definitely not going to trust the signals that it's giving you, but you're also not going to trust certain things that are on beyond your ability to physically see, right? Like that gut feeling that you get when you know something is off, but you don't say anything and you don't do anything because you don't want to be crazy or you've been wrong before, or sometimes you don't know the difference between your fear and your intuition. And I have been there. Oh my God, have I learned that lesson that will never happen again, okay? So I want you to know, number one, it's completely normal for these things to happen. But number two, your goal here is to be connected to your body. Number two, I recommend that you go down to the masterclass and watch the masterclass. It's an hour long and it goes so in depth on how to um, listen to your intuition specifically for you. Um, because, you know, I know that there is so much out there on it just comes in whispers or just know it and just trust it. And you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Like, that doesn't help me. And I know that that doesn't help you because it doesn't work. And I know that it doesn't work because I've tried all of those things and you have obviously tried them too. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So if you want to deeply, deeply listen to your intuition and execute based on it, you've got to be connected to your body. The foundational piece to that is going to be, of course, healing your trauma. Number three is that masterclass will deeply, deeply help you connect and execute based on your intuition. But another thing is though, with your intuition, if you want to be able to trust yourself, you also must practice taking that action. Even though it doesn't make sense, even though you're not really sure if this is the right thing to do. The thing is, is that you usually know it's the right thing to do because it comes in well, it depends for you, but for me, it comes in automatically and you know, and it lingers until you actually do something about it. You want to be so connected to yourself that you know that you must take this action or you must do the thing. And eventually what happens is, is that yes, it might start off in whispers, but it does eventually get so loud. You're like, oh my God, I have to listen to this. Okay. There's not really a choice. 
But again, the more connected you are to your body, the easier this is going to be. And if you're not connected to your body, hearing and following and trusting your intuition is going to be a challenge. And if you want to shift that right now in the next 60 minutes, take that masterclass. It's life-changing. I'll see you tomorrow.